What is up guys, my name is Dominic, and for you guys today, I'm bringing you a war win number 195, and as you can see we did win it and by just one, and honestly I think this was a pretty shocking war from us all around, look at these one stars, like this is very bad, but just before I actually start the recap, I'm going to be doing a, well for a 200th war win, I want you guys to choose my attack strategies to use, so you guys can literally pick anything you want for me to attack with and the most popular of course two, most two popular ones I will use and just to let you know I will only use these strategies if we actually are in a good position in this war because I'm not gonna put our 200th episode war win hype at risk for some silly attacks so of course you guys can put the attacks in the comment section of what you'd want me to use for our 200th war win I'll pick the two most popular ones and use them so nonetheless getting into this war recap and we can probably start from the bottom here and we're gonna go to hmm, there were quite a lot of town eights actually we're gonna go to Ibrahim here number 23 and just gonna show also one thing I'm strictly banned from showing our defenses because mm, you never know we might come across that clan which knows me and we know all our bases so I'm not going to be showing our bases anymore because it's not very good apparently so yeah so as you can see Ibrahim here coming with a hog ride strategy and honestly I think this is one of my speed builds if I'm right um, maybe not but it's one of very it's a very similar speed build to one I had long ago like a couple months or three months ago so it's quite cool seeing this base but I don't I, I, just off the top of my head I haven't even gone back to look at that video so just to see if it was one of my speed builds but nonetheless getting into the attack and he goes full out on the hog riders here and honestly I think there's a double giant bomb there so first giant bomb does go down he will put the heal spell I think oh wow that's interesting okay so the hog riders do not go to that well they do avoid that second giant bomb so that positioning of a giant bomb was very poor and yeah it's not very good for this defender honestly so as you can see the skeletons do come out and I think it's time for a poison spell there you go the poison spell is placed on the skeletons and the second 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 heal spell can go down and there you go there's that second giant bomb and yep there's a lot of little bombs there so the last heal spell does go down and there's a plenty of hog rides left over and you can see the king is making his way out of his range but I guess I've covered that well not covered but I guess I've found the solution to why he gets so far out of range of course he is tracking one hog rider as I saw some of the comments of that previous video and yeah he tracks one hog rider and he'll only keep on chasing a hog rider until it dies as far as it goes he might his, his place might be right here and he'll chase one hog rider down all the way down here if it until it dies nonetheless this was a brilliant freestyle by Ibrahim attacking his mirror and not too much trouble here King's healthy plenty of hog riders left over and Sunday attack there. And as we, can sc as we scroll up, as you can see, there are plenty of bases left to start. Like, usually we don't come across too many two stars. And if we just look at our wall star conversions, usually we got less than them. We only got 1.16 stars per attack. Dominic got the most heroic defense. I wonder who that was against. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. How many times did I get attacked? Let me have a look there. Um, we got attacked five times. Alright, um... I don't know if I should just watch. I just want to see. It. Oh, I pressed the wrong attack. All right, I just want to see one of it. I got three stars in the end, of course. I think they just had to let me. They just had to get me three stars. I just want to see what troops he was using. Oh god, um, he's rubbish. He's a town hall ten as well, but a level nine king. Nonetheless, going into our second attack here, as you can see, our number twenty-two, a town hall eight point five, attacking this base now. It's got max Inferno Towers and it's got pretty... It's got max defenses. Whoa! Almost all the defenses are maxed here. So, <laughs> as you can see, four golems, five golems, I think four golems there. And plenty of wizards. And as you can see, those earthquakes already... <laughs> those earthquakes already broke through for a straight path to the town hall. So here it goes down. The one pecker he has goes down. And honestly, look, the golems are already in the center all the strings I'm just wondering how did the queen level 5 queen well how was the level 5 queen able to take that town hall and yes she stood well after she destroys that hidden Tesla now she's focusing on that and she she's getting pretty badly hit how has he done that oh the golems ah the golems play a massive part in this 
So as you can see, those golems, <laughs> the splash damage from those golems splitting played a massive part. And that dragon is not going down, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like, we'd be surprised it didn't go down. And now, he quickly, this is in death, not desperation, but the dragon... <laughs> In, that is in desperation, but he did get a solid 50%, and this was by far the most heroic attack in our war. But fair play to Mobber, he obviously wanted to make the video, and he did there. And let me just check, was that most heroic attack? Of course it was. And yeah, I got most heroic defense, so pretty proud of myself there. And the next attack, we can go to our number 10 attack in there, number 12. And, hmm, going in with the Gohog strategy as well, and this took 3 minutes, so... He was definitely finishing this raid off in the last seconds there, so quite a tight raid of course. I'll put it on time to speed just to speed things up a little bit here so I can get one more attack in as well. Or yeah, one more attack in, maybe a fail, because someone got 99%, so I might just stick that in as well. Nonetheless, dragon in every single clan castle, not too surprised about that. I think he did trigger off, yes he did trigger off a double giant bomb there. And then the second double giant bomb will be around this area, so hopefully the queen and all the archers can quickly run. To oh, those hogs do dodge that giant bomb. So once the two giant bombs are down, now he can just... Oh, wow, the dragon. Wow, the dragon is still standing. Oh, that was very, very close there. So what could have turned out to be just a one-star raid, that poison spell was very good indeed. So... 70% and this of course I, I don't I think he, I'd be thinking he, I'd be thinking he'd be thinking that this wouldn't be a, have been a three star because look as you can see one hog rider there the king of course will take that one hog rider now more hog riders come the hogs are still dying from that king Dev king is not doing wow those hog riders are absolute spastics at the moment king has taken about uh, about taken out about eight hog riders there with <laughs> How about now? Okay, finally they actually turned their proper focus towards there. And luckily and very luckily, those two deep those two structures were on low hit points already. Otherwise that would definitely have been a one or two star rate. And let's maybe have a look at one more attack. See, as you can see, lots of people are playing. There's 99 percent I might as well bring it to you. 99 percent here, go large attack strategy. Three minutes twenty-five seconds. So he was definitely scouting this base for too long. So we're gonna times four speed it. And yeah, so to times four speed it. Three golems in a go large attack strategy. Not very good idea, I don't think. Only two lava hounds. So he'd definitely be expecting to take down two air defenses. And he does indeed do that, I think. Yeah, he does indeed do that. So fair play to him for doing that. But the two lava hounds go do go down on that one air defense. And now one lava hound left. All three rage spells go down very quickly. But in this situation. It. Oh, I see. So definitely the expo, this demon expo is the last structure, which will of course fail his 99% because that expo is definitely not going down to a few lava pups or that queen who who died from a giant bomb or these three lava pups. So that must suck. But it's not one of those raids where you run out of time. It's those raids where you just didn't do good enough. <laughs> and yeah. So I okay, hope you enjoyed the video very lucky we won i don't think we deserve this one whatsoever only a level five clan with like 47 war wins but nonetheless five more war wins till we hit that landmark on our clan but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video i think for our f next war 200th war we'll opt everyone in and yeah so hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave a like share it subscribe and all that and that's it from me guys and goodbye